Hey guys, AB8XX here. I've put up a different antenna. I made a, uh, what I like to call a parallel ground plane. It's a tri-bander, uh, 20, 30, 40 meters quarter wave, and I've got radials coming off of that. It's got one uh, radial for uh, 30 meters going off that direction. Off the other side, it's got a parallel uh, radial coming off, one for uh, 20, one for 30, and one for 40. And then all along the other side, there's uh, one for 40 running out to the tree. Here's an up close of the uh, center insulator portion. Uh, inside of here, just got an SO239 uh, mounted on the side of the case. It just has a couple wire solder to it to go to uh, a couple of lugs down here that you can screw the radials onto and the main radiator. Uh, so you can see it's a parallel radiator. The three uh, vertical radiating elements are spreaders. I've uh, got PVC spreaders on them and they run down just to the main connection down there. Uh, as you can see I've got a uh, choke ballon wound on there. This is all RGA coax. That's uh, about uh, six turns, about uh, eight inches in diameter and that runs down the coax and goes up into the house. Here's the three band uh, ground plane leg. It's got one leg for uh, 20, one for 30, and one for 40. And it works pretty good. It was a little tricky to tune. Um, I used the name 4170 impedance vector analyzer. But after uh, tweaking it a little bit, uh, whole antenna tunes up pretty good on all three bands. To get the pulley up in the tree for the uh, for this antenna, I actually built me a new toy. This is a pneumatic antenna launcher made out of PVC pipe. Uh, you can see uh, designs for them in I think May of 2009 QST. That tells you how to build one of these. Mine's a little bit different. Um, it's pretty much just an oversized Nerf gun. Right here's a compression chamber. Uh, you fill it with uh, compressed air. I use no more than about 30 to 40 PSI, sometimes 50. Uh, 40 PSI is sufficient for getting this type of antenna up in the tree. I attach uh, some string to it uh, to uh, actually use a small Nerf football. You can find them at uh, you know, like in the kids section of stores and stuff. Uh, the, the little mini Nerf footballs fit perfect into a two and a half inch PVC pipe and uh, work very well. Um, and then I just pull ropes over the trees to, to get the pulley in place. Right here is a sprinkler valve. This is what you use to release the uh, high pressure uh, to launch the Nerf football. And it's a diaphragm type valve. Uh, operates off a of differential pressure. You just release this uh, uh, nozzle right here. It blows out some air, drops the pressure on one side of the diaphragm, causes the diaphragm to open rapidly, and it causes all the air to rush out the end of it. Works very well. It costs uh, about $65 to build that apparatus.